Hey guys, I am popping on today to do another layout for the Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. And we are on day number seven. So that's March 7th. And I think this is round nine. So let me show you the sketch first. It's very cute. I have no idea how I'm going to get mine to look like this, but you know, with my supplies, but I'll show you. Big giant photo block here. Lots of photos. I'm only using one. So we're going to go right off on that one. Nice strip coming down this way. Embellishment, embellishment, title, subtitle. A couple little enamel dots or something. I do like that it looks like a little scalloped edge here. And it appears to be a page map, page, page map, <laughs> maps sketch. So that's what we're going to use there. Now, I have a page kit by Meredith. This is from June 2021, not just for Boys Kit Club. And I used it for a layout already. And I think I'm going to bring this side in. Um, this has a Heidi Swap Magnolia Jane and Antebellum in it. And then I have this piece that's all cut up. Yeah, so totally just scraps. And then, oh, but wait. Got this little charm that I wanted to use last time and I wasn't able to get it onto my layout. It reads, and so the adventure begins. That's cool. And a bunch of die cuts. So my thoughts are where there's all of these photo bits that maybe I can use a bunch of these things in between. <laughs> I'm dog sitting and the dog I'm watching is trying to wrestle with blue and they're causing a ruckus. Okay, so this is my photo. This is my daughter Shay and the Nick and they have Vegas behind them and it's a cute nighttime photo. So I thought that would work pretty enough. I have these pieces. Now, I do not have a 12 by 12 background in here. So I'm going to my next kit that was in my storage, July 2021 page kit. Can we stop page kit by Meredy? And I'm pulling out a piece of white cardstock that is in there. Kind of the way I'm doing it. I'm just piggybacking to the next thing. So I have this. Then there's also some cool things. There's a lot of silver in here and I have silver right here. So I am wondering, totally stealing from this page kit. Maybe I should put silver lining as my title from this page kit, piggybacking big time. And then some of these, sorry, some of these little Heidi Swap word stickers that are in here as well. And that would be bringing in all of this silvery stuff. And that will pretty much mean I'm going to try to steer clear of the gold eh, for now, at least who knows. So got to trim my photo. I have got to shut my door so they can stop their ruckus. Trim my photo. Let's get this piece, excuse me, trimmed. I can get, let's see, how does it sit? I want to do one trim. I want to get one big piece because I need one piece to go all the way down. So I have this, right? But then there's a piece that goes all the way down between. So what I can do is I can, hold on, I need to make it just a little trimmer. Trimmer? I don't know what I mean. Okay, hold on. I am trimming a good inch off the bottom. And then I'm going to thwack one side of it. Thwack is a word in this situation. I'll show you where I'm going with this. Okay. So I needed this pink block to be just a little bigger. So we'll do one of these dealios to fill it in. Much like what you'll see here with this block and then the piece that goes all the way down. Got it. Now, I may get on the struggle bus to find something to mat this with. I'm not sure. We'll find out when I trim. So I'm going to get my photo matted if I can mm -hmm. and then pick out which goodies are going to 
kind of masquerade as those other photos, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be back in a jiffy. So super quick check-in time. I did go ahead and grab my scallop punch right here and created little scallop edges because I had something I could scallop with. I have white background, which is nearly terrifying. And I did grab a piece of this gray cardstock, which came with this uh, cut file. So I figured it matched. Then I went ahead and grabbed two Catherine Pooler inks in Rose Petal and Polished and just colored up the lining part of this cut file. So it will pop a little bit. I'm going to back it with this wood grain. I thought if I backed it with the wood grain, just like white wood grain on white, we really wouldn't see it. And I'm trying to use as much of this as I can. So I'm going to spend some time um, getting that cut file taken care of. I mean, I legit have like scraps of scraps at this point for this kit. So I'm going to see if I can use any of these pieces like we talked about. And I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, so check-in time again. I have... All these things placed and nothing new has been attached down so I need to work on that but I wanted to show you kind of what I'm vibing and of course I'll pop a couple things up on some cheap kids craft foam my title is popped up like the way it came together for the most part it's a little rosier than I like but that's okay we're going with it okay I'm gonna get all these things popped down and remember I told you that I wanted to also see if there's any of these little silver word stickers that I can bring in because I have silver there and it's called silver lining. So give me a minute. I'll keep working. So I'm looking at this, right? And I'm like, I need something. So I think what I'm going to do is come in with these little Catherine Cooler minis and give myself just a little bit of a scuffy scuffy on the outside. Maybe it's just that there's too much white. I don't know, White white's a scary thing. It's just too clean. I'll give it just a little bit and it'll bring in the uh, title a little bit more too. Pretty. And I'll come back in with the rose petals as well. I think I'm gonna see if I have any enamel dots or sequins or something that matches because I need a little zhuzh and we'll be back in a minute. So let's see, I did go into my extras bin. Look at these treasures, guys. And found these Rosie Studio Puffy Stars that were from a kit I recently used kind of up. Not used up, but it is closer. And the grays and pinks are perfect. I'm gonna start with these. Okay, so let's see, I have one here, one here, let's get another grayish one down here get a bit of a visual triangle going and then let's see i like these pink let's see the pink ones let's see okay my husband keeps talking to me about a protein drink <laughs> okay so i have where do I want this one? It's slightly awkward. Maybe a little bit on that. And then, let's see what else we can pop on here. Now that I'm looking in this bin, it has all these goodies in it. I have lots of wordy bits. I'll just partially put it right here. I have lots of wordy bits. I don't want to bring in more wordy bits, you know, because I have all of it on that. That's copper. This is blue. That's copper again. I already have tickets. I, I have all of this repeating stuff. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, this is like the same collection as the die cuts. That's kind of awesome. I think, aren't there, are there, I was going to see if there are, um, say words, photo corners in here. There's three. Oh, Here's these. Do any of these work? I mean, this tan color kind of, but, and of course I know you're probably saying the pink, the pink, but although I do love the idea of using things like a lot. I could, let's look at the green. Let me see. 
because I was trying to bring the green in. Let's see if I do that. Yep, I like the green. All right, so I'm gonna get the green in and I'm gonna just keep going at this. I'm gonna see if I have enamel dots, all that kind of stuff, and I will show you still shots in just a minute. 